Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Oh God, a little chilly up here today, I gotta say, this morning anyway. 40 degrees, a balmy 40 degrees. Uh, not too bad out there now though, sunny, bright. It's supposed to be all sunny and bright all week actually. Uh, by Friday and Saturday, they're saying around here in the 80s. So, uh, the Hawker Fury is all done. I just finished it and just put the antenna on. Or antenna, antennae, antennas, whatever. Yeah, all done. Uh, I had a problem with the decals. Um, this is an old, old kit. There's not even a, um, there's no scan uh, thing on it, a barcode. I looked everywhere. Uh, I could not find a year for on the, on it. I can't find a year on the box, and I cannot find a year in the in the uh, instruction sheet. Uh, this was a lifelike model. Lifelike models from Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, let's make it. Let's make it small. Never heard of them. So, but anyway, yeah, I dropped the decal into the water and uh, it immediately disintegrated. So I tried another one and that did the same thing. So I ended up having to throw those out. Um, I dug around on my box. I don't have, I didn't have anything that was exact, but I couldn't just leave it um, sitting there naked. <laughs> So uh, I put I put what I wanted to put on it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and it's what it is. Um, so, but uh, yeah, I I, since I no sooner put those decals in the water than you could just see them all just break apart. And I'm like, oh oh well, I'll go well maybe you know that one was on the edge. Maybe one in the middle will be no. They were all the same. No sooner drop them in the water, you could just watch them watch them break all apart, and I said, okay. So luckily I hang on to most of my decals that I that I don't use, because most of you guys know if you do a plane, you'll get more than more than one set of markings for a plane. Uh, usually you'll get a couple of different markings that you can put on a plane where it was used in various fields, you know, um, or various squadrons or things like that. So, um, We'll give you a little history like we usually do. Um, this was a P-608 Hawker Fury Royal Air Force Interceptor. Um, this biplane was the most noted for its clean, streamlined shape and closing the Rolls-Royce Kestrel II S 525 BHP, which I believe means brake horsepower, which is a mechanical term. Uh, developed from the prototyped Hornet, it was accepted by the Royal Air Force in 1930 as an interceptor fighter, armed with two 303 Vicar guns with 600 rounds of ammunition each. Um, the Fury was sold abroad to Persia, modern-day Iran, 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 Yugoslavia, Portugal, and Norway. Uh, this model depicts a Fury Mark I. So, without further ado, let's unplug the oxygen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, Jeff. Go ahead, get it in. Oh yeah, speaking of Jeff, happy anniversary to uh, Jeff and Patty. Patty, I don't know how you've done it for so long, kid. I really don't. You have our mean Susan. You have our deepest sympathy. I have no clue how you've done it this far. I'll come this far or this long with him. Good God, woman, you're a saint. And then on top of that, we got a big happy birthday to Jeff's daughter, Hannah. Happy birthday, Hannah. 18, you're an adult. Ha <laughs> ha, watch out, Jeff. All right. Let's go. Let's go look. Oh, God. 
Yeah. All right, hang on, boys. Take your dram of me. Yeah, yeah, look. Look, nothing. Nothing. All right, Hawk of Fury. This was built in the 1930s. See, uh, here we go. Oh, there it is. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, like I said, I had to dig around for decals. Yeah, I know they're not the right ones. You can, you can, uh, the river counters can yell at me later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Considering. Um, uh, uh, putting this top wing on. Good God. Um, especially having to put in these two, these two outer, uh, struts. Because not only were they at, they were at a compound angle, you know what I mean? An angle one way plus angle in the other way. Yeah, they were real fun to put on. I had a blast. But, uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, you know, for an old, old kit. Come out pretty cool. See a little bit on the, a little bit of the cockpit in there. And we got, uh... Got a, a scratch built seat belts, which is just surgical tape with a, a brown uh, shoppy, tan shoppy. Oop, wrong way again, god damn it. So, here we go, boys. Let me see if I give you a, a look up underneath. If I can do it without ripping this freaking antenna off. That's what we did underneath. But, uh,. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with it. Another one for the, for the uh, museum. I'll take some uh, still still shots, and then uh, out in the museum she'll go, and we will start on uh, what are we gonna work on next. I got the bomber, but I got some Christmas presents. I gotta start building, and I gotta start working. I wanna take the I wanna take my bikes down to uh, the Acme. I gotta figure out some uh, some way of transporting them, and some way of Making a case, and I got I got six weeks to do it, and so that's going to be the next priority is trying to figure that out. But uh, well, let me know what you think, guys. Appreciate it as always. Uh, oh, and I got uh, I got shop cards if anybody's interested. I don't charge for my shop cards; uh, they're free. Uh, just get a hold of me and let me know, um, and we will go from there. And um, I'm also going to be doing, not right now, probably beginning of next month, because I need the cash. Uh, I'll probably be doing a 700 sub drawing, because I'm up at 725 right now. So I feel safe enough that uh, I won't drop back under 700 to do it. So, But uh, yeah, there it is, there it is, and I will do a video on that. So uh, those are my shop cards. If anybody's interested, some of the new guys, some of the old guys, guys, if you want one, let me know. Um, I'll leave my uh, email. I'll leave my email address in the description. Or you can just get a hold of me through um, Gmail or whatever. Leave a comment, uh, whatever, whatever you got to do. But, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. All right, fellas, we're rolling down here, so... Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Like I said, uh, didn't, I wish I could have put the correct uh, decals on it, but um, they were just too far gone. Nothing I could do about that. All right, guys. I'm running well, getting out. So, guys, have a nice day. Uh, take care. Be good, huh? Peace out.